hi guys welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me today so today's video i'm going to make some belly bands with a pocket at the side um i'm just going to be using some envelopes to make them with so mine have got windows in them but it's not going to matter because i'm going to cover them anyway now this i got my inspiration for this video from eve who is scrapbooking with me so i will leave a link in my description to her channel if you want to go and take a look okay so to start off with all i'm going to do first is i'm just going to close my envelopes i've just got four out for the time being i think that should be enough so yeah just close your envelopes at the back and like i said i'm going to cover them so it doesn't matter that they've got the window in or you can leave the window showing if you want to um, I couldn't decide whether to use brown or white envelopes but I've gone with the white and what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to make a mark well actually I'm going to fold them in half because it would be easier to cut just fold your envelopes in half just like so and then we're going to cut them in half so I'll just grab my trimmer which is just here and we'll just cut them down they don't have to be perfect just cut them in half okay so, come on it's proper stiff this um, what shall we call it Oh, trimmer is and the last one I think that'll be enough to do on camera the four we'll see how we get on um yeah we'll do get these four out for now well actually I've got six because I've got two already cut on my desk okay let's just put that up there out the way for the moment then put it back on my shelf right so what we need to do is the pockets they're going to be a belly band just like this but then we're going to have this pocket at the side and we're going to put like a journaling card in there so what we need to do first is we just need to put some papers on the front so we'll go with them four for now i'm just going to grab out my papers i've got my kits here um, i've got kits from Artie mays electric eggplant shabby dabby doo -dah. Um, and a couple of others these are all just bits of papers that I've got left so I'm just going to get some papers out that we can use this is these are to go in my autumn journal so I'm going to stick with the autumn theme just grab some more papers got quite a lot printed out here right those will do for now let's just put that underneath okay so we're just going to cover the envelopes with the papers so let's just I'm going to just put my glue on the front of my envelope and then I'm just going to use my Pritt stick I think just to glue this down and then I'll put my papers on the top so let's just put some glue on the front I just thought they were a really nice idea for a belly band with the little pocket at the side okay so let me just cut off this white from around the edge of my papers from this one i was hoping to have my journal finished for the end of this week but it's not looking like it it's going to happen i haven't been feeling too good the past couple of days so i haven't been in sat at my desk and done anything really but we'll see not to worry we'll get it done um, yeah i was hoping to have it finished for this week but it's never never worked out that way okay so these papers are a little bit short so all as i'll do is i'll just cut it down a little bit i'll just cut the envelope down that was not straight one little bit let's just try again better yeah i'll just cut this bit off the bottom i'm going to use these old scissors because i don't want my new ones getting all sticky and then i'm just going to make sure that it's glued down i'll just cut off from behind let's just put that piece in the bin just cut off from behind So we've got our belly band there and then we're going to have this little pocket at the side so i'll put all my papers on first 
and then we'll do some put some ephemera on the front so we'll just grab another one the same with this one I'll have to just cut it down a little bit but that's absolutely fine off the bottom and trim off from behind okay so there's another one we'll save these scraps of paper uh, which one shall we have next we'll have this one here we'll just grab another envelope and I'm going to sew around these I'm going to sew around the edges of them I'll leave all my sewing till the end once I've made all my ephemera I'll just spend a bit of time doing some sewing around the edges of everywhere I love these papers they're beautiful okay right let's just put those in the bin and we'll stick this down and the same, I'm just going to cut off that little bit at the bottom. Just put those in the bin because they're really sticky. And just cut off from behind. Okay, so there's another one. And we're going to do one more. Which paper shall we have? We'll have this one here. I like this one with the leaves. down a little bit okay uh, where's my other envelope gone there are, there's one here I'll use this one okay so let's just put some glue on here way shall we go that way okay so again I'm just going to cut around it cut across the bottom just like so okay right so I've got my four belly bands there let's just change this page because it's all sticky I'll just fold it in half that over there right okay so we've got our four belly bands here now I'm just going to glue down the top of this one's come undone so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue and make sure that they're all stuck just along the edge just like so just give it a second to grab that one uh, I'm not too sure about these whether these need yeah this one at the top here just put a tiny little amount of glue just along the edge just to make sure it it sticks just like so and the same with this one and this one Okay, so we've closed each end of the pocket off now I'm going to make my journaling cards to go inside and I'm going to use just some of this cream card I think it's 180 it's either 160 or 180 GSM this card so I'm just going to cut some journaling cards that we can slip into these pockets here so let's just measure yeah that's I'm going to do it a little bit shorter and then it's easy to get in and out and a, probably a little bit narrower as well so I'm just going to cut off the bottom and I'm going to cut a little bit off the side so it's just easy to get in and out of the pocket let's just have a look if that will fit in there so I need to take a little bit more off the bottom it's still a bit too long so there we go that's what we're going to do we're going to put the why is that not sticking 
there we go the journaling cards are just going to come in and out of the side pocket there I'm going to put a little tab on so it's easy to pull them out so you can actually see that there is something inside so I'm just going to do the other three we'll just cut those down yeah I thought they were a really nice piece of ephemera to go in your journals just cut a little bit off the edge and a little bit more off this side I'm not bothered about my paper being straight and then there we go so that one will go in there and then another one really easy aren't they but really effective I think I watch Eve quite a lot, well I watch all of her videos and she's got some great ideas that she comes up with, she makes some wonderful things. Like I said I will leave a link in my description to her channel if you've never watched her before go over and have a look, she's got some fantastic ideas. So that one's going to go in there, just making sure it's closed at the top and then this one. Just cut it around here. And a little bit more off the edge. And let's just see if that fits in there. Right, perfect. So let's just get rid of all these bits and pieces. And then we'll just put some ephemera on the front of them. Okay, so let's just grab my belly bands. I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put a little tab on the side of my journaling card. Let's have a look what we can put on there. I'm not going to put papers on here, I don't think. Um, or should I? Yeah, I'm going to put paper on this side and then leave the back for journaling. So let's have a look which paper did we use for that one. Just see if I can match it up. I'm just going to stick this down on here and then the back can be left blank for journaling on so we'll just stick that down on there and then just cut around it again and then we'll just leave that side blank so that's just going to sit inside that little pocket there so there's that one okay let's do the next one uh, which paper did I use for that was it this one this with the script so again I'm just going to glue this onto my pattern paper around it how's everybody doing I hope you're all doing okay um, I've been out today my husband took me to the town well the next but one town to where I live to have a little look in the charity shops oh my goodness I picked up some absolutely fantastic bargains I came across a charity shop and on the sign outside it said charity shop with a difference it was absolutely fantastic. I bought vintage books dating back to 1913, 1928 for 50 pence. Vintage lace, doilies, I was just in heaven. It was absolutely wonderful so I should definitely be going back. I was absolutely delighted. I couldn't believe my luck when I went in there. So yeah, I've had a nice morning out um, doing some charity shopping. It was absolutely lovely. I did not half enjoy myself. Okay, so there we go, there's that one. Just sit in the pocket there. These will be really nice in my journal. Yeah, really nice. Let's just put that in. Okay, this paper was this one. So we'll just straighten that off a little bit. It's not straight. There we go. Right, let's get this journaling card out and we'll just put some glue down. Yeah, I couldn't believe my eyes when I seen they had a book, like a, a glass cabinet and it said vintage books, 50 pence. I was just absolutely amazed. I couldn't believe it. I was, oh, it was just, I was in heaven. It was just lovely. 
so I was able to buy quite a few because we had the car I didn't have to carry them or anything so yeah I was absolutely made up I had a lovely morning out I shall definitely be visiting again definitely and the people in there were so lovely she was asking me what what do I do with everything that I buy and I was explaining to her about junk journaling and what it is and she know it sounds really interesting she'd have to have a little look at that so that one's going to go in there and then this one which was which paper was that we'll do this one so let's get that little journaling card out yeah it's not very often you drop on vintage books for 50 pence is it I, I, you know my local charity shops they do have them but you're looking at sort of eight ten pound for a book so when i seen that cabinet that that said vintage books 50 pence oh i was right there i couldn't believe it absolutely delighted yeah so i had a lovely morning and i just wanted to try and get this video done before the children get home from school and chaos starts okay so there's that one that we're going to put in there right let's just get rid of these scraps and then we'll do a little bit of ephemera on the front i'm not going to do too much just a little bit okay because the pattern the papers they're really lovely papers aren't they the papers speak for themselves let's just put that in there don't want to put too much on because i don't want to take away the the lovely patterns on the papers so let's have a look what shall we put on um i've got some tickets we might have a ticket on each one maybe we'll have that one on there that one on there these are tracy fox random labels these are so we'll have one of those each let's just grab my little scissors just cut around them there's one i love these little labels They're so handy just for embellishing with two um it wants to put, i don't know whether to put a little bit of lace on them maybe okay have a look what else we want to put on there so we'll put that there that one there and then this big one at the bottom here do i want to put some lace on let's have a look i think i'm going to put a little piece of lace i'm just being mindful of the dimension that i'm putting on them because i don't want it too big for my you know too much dimension for binding my journal so i think i'll put those two on that one and then i've got some thinner lace here i've got some white lace actually we'll put that one on the lighter one and we'll put the white on here just put a little piece of lace down there yeah i'm just being mindful of how much dimension i put on them for when i come to bind my journals yeah we'll have that so i just want my fabric glue which is just here let's just push them up there in a minute i'll just do this one first just put a little bit of this this is three in one that i'm using to stick my lace down with where do we want it there okay let's just stick that little bit of lace there just like that and then we'll stick this little label on the bottom i'm trying to get every last bit of this glue out i am really at the bottom now but i can still feel that there is still some in there so before i open my other one let's just put that down uh, which way shall we go with that we'll go that way like that just like so uh, i'm going to use my ink pad i'm using vintage photo i'm just going to ink around the edge yeah these will look really nice in my journal 
I'm going to take out the journaling card and just ink around the edge of here as well. Put that back in, and then we've got that nice journaling space on the back there. Okay, I'm going to just let that lace dry. I'm going to stick this other bit, these other bits of lace down, and then we'll see what else I want to put on. Where do I want the glue? About there. Okay, stick that down and then we'll stick this little label on. Stick that down the bottom there. And again I'm just going to use my ink and just ink around the edge. can't decide whether to do two signatures or whether just to do one big signature. I don't know what to do. I prefer just sewing in one signature if I'm honest, but I think two signatures look nice as well. So and I've got enough stuff made to use to do two signatures, so I might go with the two. Okay, so let's grab this next one and just glue this down. Put a little bit of glue up here. Come on, glue. It's definitely glue in here because I can feel it. Okay, I'm just going to stick that little piece of cream lace there and then we'll stick this little label down the bottom. Come on. Okay, let's just stick that down there and then I'm going to get out my journaling card, I'm going to ink over it. I will try and remember to link the kits that I've used on this journal if I can remember. I'll do my best to, to link everything in case you want to go and have a look. I think I can't remember whether this was Artie Mays or the Electric Eggplant, I think it was, I'm not 100% sure, but I'll link them all, the kits that I've used on this journal that I'm making anyway. Okay, so we'll put that one there and then we'll just stick this lace down here. Let me just grab a little bit of uh, tissue I'm looking for, I have no idea where to put my hands on my kitchen towel, let's just wipe the end of that glue, that's it. Okay, put the glue down here. Come on. I don't know why it's not coming out because there's glue in it, there's quite a lot of glue in it. There we go, it's coming out now. It's very stringy this three in one glue, I've found. Yeah, it's not my favourite. I'm really funny with glues honestly this is my favorite the cosmic shimmer i use this quite a lot on paper it's one of my favorites i've never tried the uh, what's the other one that's similar to the three in one um fabric tack is it i've never tried that so i can't comment on that but that three in one's a bit stringy okay and we'll just ink around the journaling card there we go let's pop that back in there in the side right so let's bring back in my belly bands put them the right way I'm going to put a little tab just on the side here then it's easy to get hold of so what shall we use we'll just use a piece of piece of this paper and we'll just just stick it down the side there I'm just going to put glue on half of it and then stick it down just then it's easy to get the journaling card out well you can see that there's something there to be pulled out to journal on just like that could have done with being a bit longer. I'll do the next one a little bit wider. Uh, this one, let's just cut a piece of this. And 
and then just get that card out. Stick this down. Just gonna stick that there and then put it back in there. That's better, you can actually see that there's um, you're supposed to pull on it. I wonder if to do that one again. Yeah, I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger and then you can see that it's, there's a little tab there to be pulled out to get the journaling card out. Otherwise it will annoy me. Let's stick that one down. Stick it on there like that. I mean, you don't have to put the tabs on if you don't want to. I'm just putting them on and then you can see that there's something there to pull out. Just like that. And then this one, uh, which paper do we use for that? We'll use this one. Okay, put a bit of glue on. Stick it on there. And then stick it back in there. And finally this one. Uh, which one should we use? We'll use this script one again. Uh, which way around is it? That way. Just send the scripts the right way. Okay, so let's stick that back in there. So aren't they great? Yeah, just little hidden pockets with your belly bands right let's have a look do I want to put anything else on here um I have got some ephemera what have I got I've got some bits in this tin that have been got some butterflies maybe stick a butterfly on some of them that one's nice I've got some moths I've got a big dragonfly as well but I think it'll be too big um another moth one. Oh I've got a nice big one there. I think that one can go on there. Yep. Yeah. I've either got those butterflies or I have got, where's my bag of ephemera gone? Bear with me, it's on the desk somewhere under the mountain of stuff. What have I done with it? Here it is. I've got some ephemera that I've fussy cut here. Let's have a look what we've got in here before we stick those butterflies down. Like I said, I'm not going to stick too much on. Just, let's just have a look what we've got here, see if there's anything I prefer before we stick the butterflies down. Um, we've got journaling cards, we've got a leaf. Actually, we could stick both down really. We've got a big pumpkin, but I think that'll be too big. Some little pumpkins. Yeah, we could stick those on, couldn't we? To go with them. Um, that butterfly. Or what else have we got? That's too big. Got these journaling cards. I might stick one of them on the front of there. Actually, I quite like that one. And then this one. Um, What's this one? What do we think of those? Uh, what else is there? I've got one that's a bit darker here. That might look better. Yeah, that one looks better. We'll go with that. Let's not overthink it because I don't want to be keeping you on for ages while I'm contemplating what bits of ephemera to put down. Just pop these back in the bag. And they don't get lost. Right, let's just put some ink. I'm just going to move them up. I'm just going to do one at a time and then I can put my ink on. So I've got my ink again. I'm just going to ink over the butterfly. And then I'm going to ink over the leaf. Just like so. I'm going to use my Dregs of glue out of this cosmic shimmer and if I can get any more out. Yeah, still coming out. So I'm going to stick my butterfly there. 
and then I'm going to stick my leaf further down I may stick a word on you know what I'm like with words I stick words on everything so yeah I might finish off with a word but I've got that ticket there haven't I no I won't I won't put words on these I'll just leave them as they are so there we go isn't that nice and then you just pull your journaling cards out the side pocket there so there's that one let's stick this bit down just put some ink over them oh I've got something stuck on the back of there what's that cotton just ink over my butterfly a little bit over the pumpkin I don't want to get ink all over the back of my Mind you, they're going to be stuck down, aren't they, in my journal, the belly band, so it won't matter. Okay, stick that there. And then my pumpkin. I've enjoyed putting these together. Okay, so there we go. There's that one. And this one. around the edges stick this down stick the butterfly on first just stick that there I might have to just trim it down just a little bit just cut off the bit from behind it a little bit of fabric tack on that wing because it's sticking on the lace uh, not fabric tack so three and one rather just then that stays stuck down there okay let's put this little journaling card on just stick that there I really like those yeah really like them really nice they look nice in my journal and then finally this ephemera the fussy cut ephemera was from electric eggplant that's what it was called and it was nice too it was a nice kit um, yeah it was nice I've just sat and fussy cut everything out okay so we'll stick that there and I'm going to put some three and one on the butterfly because it's going to sit on the lace. Don't know why this isn't coming out properly. And there we go, it is now. Okay, stick that down, and I think I've got enough on those now. Let's just press that down till it grips. Don't know if I'm going to put anything else on. Like I said, I'm trying to be mindful of how much dimension I'm putting on things with for when I come to bind in my journal. Um, my struggles with my blue one to bind it. And if I only do one signature then it will it'll be hard work. So there we go then guys. There's my project for today. As I said earlier, I will leave the link to scrapbooking with me in my description. As always, thank you so much for stopping by to watch. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll leave all my links in the description. Please come along and join me if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And if you do, don't forget to hit that little bell, which will notify you when I've got any new uploads. So until my next video, guys, take care. Bye.